Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Horus XXL by Team Destiny Builds, so stay tuned. What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today... Everything changes. We're going to be talking Cody news and updates, so stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension is a known security issue. I am the Mac Mage. So as you guys know, I like to show you the startup screen of each build after it's been installed, and this is pretty much what the build looks like when you first um, get it installed. It goes through and it updates all the add-ons, then your widgets will populate. You have, the, of course, the build intro and everything like that. Um, I'm going to go turn, turn my uh, computer volume up a bit. So I tweeted out earlier this week that Team Destiny Builds really does come out with some aesthetically pleasing builds and they really do. I really enjoy not only the backgrounds of this build but I enjoy the fluidity of everything and the simplicity of the widgets and how it just is to use uh, many of their builds. So as ever in my build reviews I will take you through the build take you through the build and then I will give you my recommendation as to whether or not I think this is suitable for a novice Kodi user versus a more advanced code user. So let's go ahead and get started in looking through the build and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's start with your your menu, your main interface. This looks like it's ba uh, based on the Confluence skin. So your menu selections are music, TV guide, movies, TV shows, kids, sports, YouTube, add-ons, TDB wizard, settings, quit, and then we're back to the beginning. Each Main menu has a submenu. You can notice right underneath, and in order to access it, you would just click the down arrow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video add on section, and you can see which add ons are previously installed when you install the build. So the only thing I have installed is the iTunes podcast um, add on because I watch or listen to my podcasts in Cody. But you get over over 70 um, add-ons here and these are your top add-ons. You have things such as Evolve Salts, Exodus Phoenix, VidTime, HD Movie Box. There's just tons of your top Cody add-ons on this build pre-installed. TDB Wizards TV Guide of course and because you have so many great add-ons installed that work with TDB Wizards TV Guide. It causes the guide to work very fluidly and very nicely. You may have to select your own streams for certain things, but it does work just nicely and just fine, so very enjoyable there. What I'm also enjoying is the customization that you can do within the add-on selections where you display your add-ons. So here we are in the kids section and the display type I've selected is Showcase. So as you can see, there's a really nice movie, family movie experience here where you're kind of um, immersed in that movie and the information about it. Really, really enjoyable, good, good vibe for like a family room setting. And then if I take you over here to where I have TV shows, um, I have it set to 3D shelf. You can change this over here um, to whatever you'd like. This one I like a little better. So it will look like this. Very nice, very nice interface and a very pleasant experience. Um, the widgets are live widgets. So if you, let's say, are wanting you know, MP3 streams, just click up and then you can grab it or, you know, whatever uh, music source or what have you. Um, just a really enjoyable build to use. This is definitely one that I would recommend for the Cody novice because everything is very accessible and you really don't get lost in here. I like that each main menu does have something that they default to. Um, for example, 
movies, TV shows, kids, those all default to salts, and sports defaults to evolve sports. So there's no, um, you're not, you don't end up somewhere in the inner workings of the add-on section. And of course, you're not limited to this. If you're more the advanced user, you can always customize things within the build. I mean, I like to play around with the settings of stuff when I'm in the builds um, and make it my own, you know, customize it to my own specifications. So there's, you know, an intrigue about it even if you're an advanced user. But it's just a really beautiful build, a really simple build, and a really nice presentation. Um, TDB Wizard does a really good job on his build, and this is great. So in order to install TDB Wizard's Wizard, it's probably best you have a fresh copy of Cody to work with, especially if you intend on installing a build. So what you're going to do is navigate over to Systems, File Manager, Add Source, click on None, and this is the repository you are going to add, http colon slash slash tdbrepo.com. And then just go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call it TDB for now. And then once that's installed, click OK. Then go over here to Settings, System, Settings, Add-ons, and then go to Install from Zip. Go to the resource you just created. And then what you're going to want to do is install that. Wait for it, the add-on enabled um, thing to go off. Once that is done, install from repository, TMTDB repository. Then you want to go to programs and install the wizard. Um, and then once you've installed the wizard while you're at it, you may as well install the guide. Go over to Programs, go to TDB Wizard, Team TDB Builds, Wizards Builds, and then finally Horus XXL. And there you have it. So hopefully this video did help you. If it did, please like and share. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. Your subscriptions really do motivate me to continue doing what I do. And I very much appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.